Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a pretty commonly requested video about the Samsung Galaxy S3. I've reviewed the Samsung Galaxy S3 already, and part of the thing that I talked a lot about was TouchWiz, which was on top of it. And TouchWiz is the skin on top of Android 4.0 on the Galaxy S3 when you get it. It's planned to have an upgrade to TouchWiz, the next version, which will be on top of Android 4.1. But I've enjoyed my Galaxy Nexus so much that I wanted a pure, almost near stock Android experience on my Galaxy S3. So without any further ado, I'm gonna be taking a look at my favorite ROM so far for the Galaxy S3. If you root it, you can get CyanogenMod 10, one of the nightly builds, and I'll show you what it looks like running on my Verizon Galaxy S3. Let's go ahead and take a look. By the way, I have no idea if this is the final angle for what I'm going to be doing videos at. I'm still sort of messing around with things, getting it set up, but uh, let's get into this real quick. Now, the first thing you'll notice about your device when you turn it on is your lock screen. And that's because the lock screen here, I have it right next to the Galaxy Nexus here. This is running pure stock Android 4.1 and this is running CyanogenMod. And you can see here that the lock screen is identical. I could add some other shortcuts up here and up here if I wanted to, but you also have to swipe up to Google Now, left for camera, and right to unlock. And that is where you'll get to your home screen. And that's where the, uh, the similarities are pretty much the same for the rest of everything else, with some minor additions thanks to CyanogenMod. So first of all, to make sure you have Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, you can go to Menu and System Settings. And at the bottom, there's About Phone, and you can see here Android version 4.1.1, and CyanogenMod is the kernel version. And we have, of course, our full two gigs of RAM. You'll actually find that you use less RAM because TouchWiz does use a little bit of the RAM, and you won't have any of that RAM being used by TouchWiz when you're running stock Android. Some other neat additions are you get to swipe down from the notification bar, and you'll get your toggles here from CyanogenMod. So Wi-Fi toggle, Bluetooth, your GPS, and you can change your volume and set it to volume on or vibrate or silent or whatever you want to do there. Also, Project Butter is present throughout the operating system, so everything is just dead smooth. There's no hiccups or stuttering as far as I've seen. Uh, just like Android 4.1 on other devices that are running stock Android, there aren't many, but you can get that experience by running CyanogenMod, and it is absolutely buttery smooth. Google Now still works, so I'll ask it a random question, like, uh, what's the weather like? What is the weather like? and it'll go ahead and tell me what the weather's like here, and if you have the volume on, it'll go ahead and read stuff out. Google Now works flawlessly, data works flawlessly, there is nothing missing or wrong or incorrect about this ROM, and that's why it's been working perfectly as a daily driver for me. Also, I'll show you the camera. This is another big reason that I've been using the Galaxy S3, is because of that eight megapixel camera, but it still has instant shutter, so of course, if we take a picture here, it'll move to the side, and it's instantly available and you can swipe left and right and go through the pictures you've taken. All that software still works. This will take panorama and you can now take 1080p video and just keep taking really, really fast shutters and eight megapixel photos will just fly through like that. Also for location aware apps like say Google Maps, the Galaxy S3 actually has some of the fastest GPS lock of any device I have ever used. So if you ever have any issues with that, well, you won't have any issues with that. Google Maps, navigation, uh, any GPS tagging stuff like Foursquare, that'll all work perfectly quickly and really, really fast thanks to the fast OS and the fast GPS lock on this phone. Some other neat things are you notice there are no software buttons on the bottom. So I'll bring in the Nexus in again so you can see there are these software buttons, back, multitasking, and home. Uh, but you don't have these here on the Galaxy S3 because you have your home button here, you have your menu button, and you have your back button, and those all still work perfectly. In terms of battery life, I've gotten some pretty decent battery life. I do use my phone quite a bit. You can see here it's been on for six hours with quite a bit of screen on time. Actually, not a lot of screen on time, but quite a bit of usage, basically. And uh, it's halfway through the day and I have 76% battery life left. I typically end the day around 11 p.m. and I'll have about 20% left, which is pretty good. But besides that, everything else about the phone is fast. I mean, I haven't gotten a lot of questions about it, but basically uh, people wanted to know, is it daily driver material? And uh, from what I gotta say, from my experience, Yes, this is daily driver material. So I can use this for all my apps that are compatible with Android 4.1 and below, you know, Twitter apps, notifications, all that kind of stuff. It just works. I haven't found any flaws with it. Uh, and it's been a really enjoyable experience so far. So connects to really fast data. I'll go ahead and do a speed test here just because I happen to feel like showing off my new Wi-Fi. But I mean, there's not a whole lot that goes wrong at all. I haven't had any random reboots. This happens to be the Verizon version of the Samsung Galaxy S3, which means you'll have to get past the bootloader before you do any of your routing and flashing your ROM. So I'll have instructions for that below. But basically, 
If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on YouTube or go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. This is an absolutely highly recommended ROM. I just, there's nothing wrong with it at all and uh, it's a pleasurable experience. Here's a quick tip I use on all of the 4.x devices. If you go to settings and you go down past all that CyanogenMod and Google stuff and you go to developer options, you can go down here into your animations and change the animation scale to 0.5x. So let's say you wanna make it really, really slow by 5x. You'll see all the animations are really, really slowed down. By default, it's actually 1x. If you make it 0.5x, you'll notice your device just feels a lot snappier and you can turn animations off completely, uh, but I prefer to have them on really snappy and it feels re really, really fast. And last thing you should know is there are some uh, CyanogenMod settings in here. So if you go to interface, you can change some settings about the launcher so you can change your look and feel. Uh, you can change all the different CyanogenMod settings. If you have themes, if you have profiles, all this stuff is accessible in here. So if you're a really hardcore Android person, you can go in and customize and change everything about this stuff. You can change which buttons you have up here in the widgets. Uh, you can change which toggles you have. All that stuff is available to you. And uh, that's pretty sweet. So I've been using CyanogenMod 10 for Android 4.1.1 and I love it. So there you go, it's really, really close to stock Android and it has been my daily driver for a couple of months now actually. It's a really, really solid ROM and uh, I'd recommend it if you've rooted your Galaxy S3. For those of you who are new to the whole flashing a ROM process and being rooted, I'll have some links below this video where you can check out the best way to get your phone rooted, to get your bootloader unlocked, and to flash whatever ROM you want. So thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if it was helpful at all and uh, Next video is one that will be, uh, that's been requested a lot more than this particular video was. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.